Before talking about tools and layers and selections and so on in Photoshop, just one more thing. I'm going to talk about file types. Again, this is a bitmap image, which means it's made up of pixels. Pixels are the little blocks of the image, and each block requires some data to draw it on a screen. If I go to File, Save As, the, this is the file name, it's a JPEG. Uh, JPEG is just, it stands for Joint Photographers Group, which was a standard that was established in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and so, you know, of course, the, we've all seen JPEGs a hundred times before. If I hit the drop down menu to save file as, if you're brand new, this could be extremely confusing to you. Um, just note that for now, it has to do basically with compressing a file. Okay, a JPEG, the data of all those little pixels can be compressed mathematically to make a very small file size, but you lose, like, resolution. The more compression there is, the, the, the blurrier it looks. Which is great if you have, like, a one-inch high photo that's going to be in uh, Facebook. That's wonderful. You want, like, a low, you know, a very low res file will be fine. But for the stuff that we're going to be manipulating, working on, and editing, you're going to save it as a PSD file, PSD Photoshop document, in which you'll be able to preserve all the edits and layers and all the stuff that we do to our imagery. So, let's not freak out about all these options. Let's just know that JPEG is what we all know and love. It's a flat image. It's, in general, low resolution. And um, in general, the once you save something as a JPEG, you have limited options available to you for further editing. PSD file, Photoshop document, is what you're going to save your images as as you work on them. And you're going to save your PSD file so you can always go back and, and edit them. And as we move forward working on this stuff, this will become a lot clearer. So let me just let me just hit cancel and go back to our JPEG and I'll see you in the next video.